Yeah, Lichi was definitely not happy with us having a new cat. At first, she was definitely defensive about it. She would hiss at us whenever we smell like Taro. It's just Taro's scent. The entire two, three weeks, Lichi would just stare at Taro from a distance. She'd be curious, but she's too scared to approach her. What can I do for you? I know, she's so weird. Lichi was so needy, but she'd always sit in front of her toy box because she knows that's where her toys are. We're working a lot. We can't play with her 24-7, so it's time to get a sibling. Lichi was just not happy having another foreign cat. We read from the internet that sometimes you just kind of let the cats fight it out and then their relationship's gonna get better. That kind of worked. They used to be a lot more aggressive. Nowadays, it's just truly playing. There was one morning at 5 a.m. where I woke up and then I saw Haro was licking Lichi on my bed. We freaked out. It was a huge moment for us because they have never bonded that well. So it was the first time where we actually saw them display some sibling love. The big sip and the little sip. It took a while for them to be really good friends. She just follows Lichi around wherever she goes. I kind of joke around that Taro is kind of lazy and doesn't really want to make her own personality. So she kind of just copies whatever Lichi does. Good morning. I can solidly say that I have been smiling or laughing at least once a day because of them. Nowadays, Haro really likes grooming Lichi all the time. Lichi's more tolerable with it. We see that as her showering love to her older sister. It's been six months and we actually see a huge progression. Lichi hated Taro and then Taro was interested in Lichi. Now you can see that Lychee's like, huh, you're not that bad. I kind of enjoy your company. Good night, Taro. Good night, Lychee. Good night, kids.